Hello, today we're going to disassemble Lenovo, the model is uh, G580. It's a very common model, so probably it will be useful for somebody. The first thing, of course, is we got to remove the battery. I removed the screws, you know, the whole back cover is held by two screws in here. So the only thing you gotta do is just slide the back cover like this and you just remove it. Now the hard drive is missing, somebody tried to open it, so we continue from that point. Now the next step of course, we gotta remove the optical drive. Uh, next thing, we gotta disconnect the Wi-Fi cables because we gotta disassemble the whole front cover like this. This time we gotta remove the Wi-Fi module because the screw is held on the back cover and the other part is uh, on the main board, so we gotta remove it. The next thing like I always do is remove all the screws in the back. I think the laptop also have a problem with the hinges because they're very loose and probably they will need to be you know repaired. The screws which are holding the keyboard are marked so you can put those screws on the side, they're a little bit uh, longer than the other ones. I think there are three. Yeah. After that, just remove all the other screws. Uh, this one is missing. Like this. There is two, uh, two screws uh, on the hard drive bay. One is smaller, but on the plastic is written, so you shouldn't be worried. Just be careful which screw you are putting on uh, that place. Only one is shorter than the other ones. Now let's check is everything removed. Mm, yep. Now we have three screws here uh, underneath the optical drive. I gotta remove them also. Now the next step when we flip the laptop around is to be very careful when we, when we open the, the cover because nothing held the hinges now. Yeah, they are broke. Now we take something sharp and try to lift the keyboard. We already removed the screws, so it shouldn't be a problem. Start from the middle to the sides. Like this. After that, just disconnect the cable and it's out. Now, here we have a couple of screws which we gotta remove. Uh, it's only one, I think. Yep, this one here. Now we gotta disconnect the touchpad cable, the power button cable, and I think we are ready to separate the both sides this here is for I don't know this probably is for the USB here on the right so 
it won't be a problem for now. Now the next step is try to split the two parts. Start some place in the middle. Like this, gently, with something sharp. You can use a guitar pick or something similar. Just lift it up gently. You can put it a little bit on the back to the display so the clips on the back can be uh, removed easily. Now the, up, the palm rest cover is up. And yeah, the hinges are broke here. Now, the next thing we gotta start disconnecting the cables. Now, this one here is for the speakers, like this. Also, here. Yeah the LEDs for the display we gotta remove this little board first because it will block our way to remove the board like this after that we gotta remove the left speaker because it's above the board you can put it on this side it's not a problem. Now we're gonna disconnect the card reader cable, the optical drive connector, and the right USB here. The next step is to disconnect the LCD cable. Be very gentle with those connectors, they are very fragile, like this. Now the next step, we gotta remove all the screws which are holding the board. Normally they are marked with a white triangle, so it's not a very big problem. This one here, and let me see. Is there some else? No, I think not. So we just have to disconnect the power jack cable like this and then just lift the board up put it someplace now the next step is to disconnect the thumb like this After that, just remove the screws which are holding the, the cooler. Like this. Slide the cooler a little bit on the left and the right, so it will be much easier for you to lift it up. Basically, that's the whole thing. Now, we gotta separate the fan from the, for the pipe, from the pipe, so we can clean it easily. Normally, they're stick it like this. If you want to clean it properly, you have to remove this thing here remove the fan you can see what's inside now the next step we're taking a smaller screwdriver and remove the screws on the fan some of the fans uh, they have an option to to separate the bearing from the plastic part so you can 
you know, clean it much easier like this because there is a lot of dust in here also you can see is it on focus yeah so no this one cannot be well basically that's the whole thing you can clean the fan on this here also because there is a lot of dust in here and basically that's the whole procedure use some alcohol to clean the old thermal paste then put the new one reassemble everything on the reverse and basically that's the whole procedure i hope you like the video like and subscribe if you do bye bye for now